A stingray we humans named Charlotte lives at an aquarium in Hendersonville, North Carolina. She shares an exhibit with only other female stingrays and two male sharks. That's why it was a surprise when Charlotte ended up pregnant. And it doesn't take much, but Charlotte's become the latest internet sensation. Well, uh, certainly a lot of folks are worried about this, coming up with all kinds of theories. Leah Bowling caught up with an expert at our Tennessee Aquarium on how Charlotte's mysterious pregnancy came to be. I'm here at the Tennessee Aquarium where sharks and stingrays share an exhibit similar to Charlotte's exhibit in North Carolina. While these animals do coexist, Tom Dimas says there is no possibility of sharks and stingrays reproducing together. There's a lot of fun things you can think about, a shark and a ray, but, but in reality it's, it's kind of a mechanical issue. Um, it literally is like putting a square peg in a round hole. Um, anatomically they don't line up. He says there's another theory that is far more likely, parthenogenesis. Rather than the female receiving a sperm to um, implant in the egg, uh, they begin the cell division within that egg without that sperm. So what happens is, rather than the offspring being half mom and half dad, that offspring is basically a genetic clone of mom. He says animals may use this as a survival strategy to pass on their genetics. It's um, a strategy that some animals have been documented to use uh, when there's not a sufficient mate around, and it's, it's the females who will parthenogenically reproduce. He says the Tennessee Aquarium's sharks and rays do reproduce, but not from parthenogenesis. We have had a lot of reproduction here with our sharks and our rays. We've got a very successful breeding program. We're also able to work with them and reproduce them and make them available for other facilities so the wild populations can remain wild. I asked Demas if a similar situation to Charlotte's could happen here at the Tennessee Aquarium. If what happened there is parthenogenesis, which I believe it is, absolutely it could happen here. I think the fact that we have males and females together um, probably reduces the chance of that, I would guess. Uh, it could happen, but I'd put my money on the lottery. Reporting at the Tennessee Aquarium, I'm Leah Bowling, Local 3 News.